Hi, welcome to a new episode of EasyPowerWall.com. In this episode, we focus on making the bus bars and making the connectors for the BMS. These are not off the shelf because I couldn't fit the two wires from the BMS into one connector. So I used copper that is used for hot wa in hot water systems and I adapted it to um, to make it useful here in the power wall. Of course the process is into uh, in the movie later. The copper bus bars are also from AliExpress. You find the link in the description. The standard bus bars are a bit too short to be uh, useful in, into the system. So I need some clearance because I have to connect them and I really wanted some enough clearance so I can't make a short with the battery. Join me for the movie and we'll start drilling, sawing, making threads. So a bit of a mechanical engineering episode. I suppose you hear the background noise. Another rainy day in Belgium. Try to make an angle, a 90 degree angle. Not critical, of course, but. So, no need to preheat or so, just smash it with the hammer, and the copper is nicely bent. On the longest side I'm gonna drill the 6.5 first start with 3 or 4 and 6.5 on the top end I will drill with 5 and tap the M6 so we can attach the BMS leads to the bus bar They're already drilled at the right size, but I have to tap M6 to the top so I can connect the BMS uh, or the positive cable with the bus bar. So I will make some uh, more M6 threads and then we can connect them to the batteries. I think they're only four millimeter, but that's enough to take, or to have a good grip with an M6 screw. Always make sure you clean your threads before you start a new M6 thread. Make sure it's vertical. I always use a little oil, this will extend the life of the bit.
and it makes it easier to make the threads but here only a few millimeter thick, so it goes pretty easy much easier than the big bus bar of 8 millimeter where we had the M8 this is just a piece of cake you don't have to go backwards you can just in one go you make the M6 thread I have two brands of uh, shrinking tube, the shiny one, and the one I use with the bus bars, and the one from the bus bars is of a superior quality as the shiny one. I'll put a link in the description where you can, or where I ordered this shrinking tube, and I can really recommend it. I was very happy with the results while doing the battery bus bars. I get the two waters that are currently installed on in the system and then I put them all into the pack. Now we will do some uh, polishing, make sure we have the clean and bright copper visible and then we can put them on the BMS. This one is just too small to uh, fit two cables, 
So that's why I made these custom connectors and this fits easier. Now I just have to crimp it and it's uh, ready. That's a perfect fit. I also had the connector for the positive side. Well, it's still the negative side of the BMS, but not the side of the battery. This is how the hydraulic pump works. You just push it and this uh, presses the two ends together and to release the valve you just open it and afterwards you close and you can make a new crimp. Yep, very solid connection. So I would not only recommend, but I even strongly advise to drill the holes before attaching them to the BMS. This one goes over the inner screw of the battery. M6 screw. Screw this one together. This one goes on the center post. And then a wire to the fuse and the negative bus bar just a minor attention point i drilled it but it's not really in the center so technically and electrical wise it has no impact but of course i could 
win some points from the jury if it was really in the middle of the uh, of the step here. So now I will drill first the um, 5.5 and 8.5 mil sockets before attaching them to the uh, to the BMS. So I won't bore you with this process. I'll do it offline and then we'll see each other again if we install the first BMS on the battery pack. See you soon. Another step completed. The steps of the bus bars from the batteries are finished. Now we can focus on the BMS holder to keep the BMS fixed on the shelf. So make sure you stay tuned for the next episode of EasyPowerWall.com. See you soon.